In the last message, Our Lady said, Dear children, pray. Prayer works miracles. In that, there is a contrast with your lifestyle, with your education. What you do not believe as a priest, as a Christian, is true, and that is that prayer works miracles. The fact that you do not believe this is a problem, a problem for God. The fact that a faithful, a believer, does not believe that prayer can work miracles and yet calls himself a believer, a Catholic, devout, that is a problem. You do not believe that your prayer is all-powerful. At this moment, there is a great lack of education and experience in the church. We tend to hide behind a policy, behind skill. We have made up a million ways. A little while ago, we just reflected about the seed and about how the church grows. That law is in conflict with the logic of the world in which you live. Because you think that that experience spreads through internet, mass media, educational system. But this is not necessarily so. If we look at the parable of Jesus, if we look at the logic of this world, through technology, propaganda is spread, through advertising, information is spread, manipulation of masses for material goods, for manufactured goods, is spread. But the gospel cannot be spread in that way. The entire world is covered by a net called television. News travels in an instant to all the corners of the world. And yet never, never have there been more people in the world who, have, who know nothing about Jesus. Today there are five billion people who do not know anything about Jesus. Yes, the church has the television, and yet five billion people do not know about Jesus. The church has books, it has journals, magazines, but five billion people know nothing about Jesus. Your Sky News, your CNN, can do nothing for Jesus if there are no saints in your country. The gospel needs witnesses, not journalists. It needs journalists who are holy, not those who work for money and gain. Do you understand? The law of the way that the seed grows is the way that the church grows, and not the law of advertising and propaganda. Yes, the same applies to the area of faith and prayer. No, you cannot put on an audio cassette and a radio and say, well, my radio and my audio cassette are praying. But if the church does not pray, 
the technology means nothing. The world become, remains pagan. The world looks for and hears only what pleases it, not that what the church wants. And we thought that the school, the educational system, can replace the mother and the father. That the teachers of faith can be replaced by mass media. That saints and preaching can be replaced by journals and articles. No. Our faith lives from every life, from the daily dying to oneself, self-sacrifice and love. Prayer is not an idea. Prayer is our own personal encounter with God, which bears fruit, which carries fruit. Our Lady says pray and fast Renew prayer and fasting with enthusiasm and delight. Our Lady says prayer works miracles. And I believe that. And I also would like for you to believe that. It is my desire for you to receive that grace today. That as you touch the rosary, <coughs> that you may feel. I am touching the hand of my mother, the Queen of Peace, as I hold the rosary. I hold her corner of her dress as a child when I hold the rosary and I receive the grace. I am overjoyed because I am praying. I am blessed because I can still pray. I can pray the rosary together in my community, in my group. No, this is not some kind of advertising. No, you cannot spread this through internet. You cannot say we pray three rosaries on internet. Yes, the grace comes from within. The strength comes from within. And when you grow to that extent that you are able to say, I can no longer be without prayer. I thirst for prayer. I need to pray. I hunger for prayer. I need prayer. I am in pain. I need prayer. I can no longer punish myself to stay away from prayer. I cannot skip prayer again. No. I will go and organize a prayer group. I will go and organize a new family. A prayer group in my parish, in my city, and I will be filled with joy. And every day we will pray. Every day more and more we will pray. And we will know that through our prayer it is our church that breathes. And that our church changes through that prayer. Behold your mother.